What exactly do we know? So we have the S1 now, uh, which we know now that they are moving forward. You'll remember, uh, according to our sources, we reported late last year, they delayed this IPO process as they tried to kind of uh, preen up their finances. They weren't quite where they wanted to be. Right now, we know the company posted a net loss of about $55 million last year on revenue of about uh, $795 million. Uh, revenue did double uh, in 2016 from 2015. So you can see now that they have uh, some great growth to preach to investors as they go down this IPO process. But you know what I think is interesting digging into this uh, deal prospectus, you do start to see how they position itself. And for a company that's in the food delivery industry, that's going to be increasingly important. It's a very competitive industry. We've already seen casualties by the wayside. Uh, Sprig just last week shut down. So Blue Apron is coming in here and basically saying they have a powerful brand connection. Uh, they have superior product at compelling values. They're constantly innovating on their product. So how, what that actually means for a company that, that uh, sends delivery, delivers kits of food for their customers, I think we need a bit more clarity on, but we're at least getting to see behind the scenes and uh, on some of the financials of one of these food delivery companies. David, what's your take on the food delivery industry? It's clear there are going to be losers. Will there be a few winners? Will there be many? <laughs> Well, I would echo some of what Alex was saying. First of all, their growth is spectacular. Their growth is 10x over two years. I mean, they had like 75 million in 2014, and in 2016 they had something close to 800 million. That's amazing. And I also was reading the prospectus, and I have to say, I'm impressed. They're talking about themselves as a lifestyle brand. I think if you look at this not as the food delivery business, but as the creation of new lifestyle brands around crucial human activities, that might be the way to think of this company, and it might suggest if they can actually fulfill that vision, they would have a very potentially promising future. But you know, they're gonna go up against Amazon. Let's just name that one. That's the company that I would worry about most for them. So if anything to do with any kind of delivery, including food, Amazon is the company to worry about, and that's gonna be what any company in this industry is gonna be focusing on, including them.